somehow holidays and festivals are almost always connected with food. And I'm personally a big, big fan of the festival food. And there is this winter holiday in Russia where we put this dish on the table that can predict your future. And today I will tell you about this wonderful tradition. The name of this holiday is also an interesting one. It may sound as an oxymoron, it is an oxymoron to be honest, and the name is Old New Year. We have New Year, the normal New Year as everybody else, 31st of December, 1st of January, and then we have Old New Year on the 14th of January. Why? I will explain you in a second. And that's because of the change of the calendars. You may know that uh, previously, many, many years ago, before uh, 16th century, I think, we all had a Julian calendar and we lived according to this one. But then in the 16th century, Gregorian calendar was introduced and uh, um, it just figured out that we lived to the Rome calendar before that, according to um, the calculation. And that means in those many, many years, um, there are already 14 days that we need to go back. Um, and um, most of the people went back 14 days and uh, uh, started to live according to this Gregorian calendar. But Russia lived to the um, Julian calendar for many more years and that's why we had all our religious holidays and uh, all other holidays a bit in a different place. And nowadays we also live uh, according to a Gregorian calendar as everybody else. But church is still following the Julian calendar. That's why we have um, our religious holidays uh, different. Our uh, Christmas is still in January and our uh, Easter is a bit different than in Europe um, because of this calendar. And we also keep our old New Year as it was in the old time. For many people it's uh, one more reason to gather with the family and friends and uh, many children wear costumes and uh, go from door to door and sing different uh, songs and read poems. It's a bit like trick or treat uh, for the Halloween, um, but uh, I think that before at least there were mostly the traditional costumes, like Russian traditional costumes that uh, children and some grown-ups as well uh, were wearing, but nowadays for sure I, I saw children in all kind of costumes. Um, and um, also an important part of uh, this holiday is fortune telling though we also do that for christmas traditionally also for the old new year uh, there are some people who do that and my favorite way of fortune teller fortune telling uh, during this holiday is eating dumplings with surprises um, dumplings uh, you probably know what are dumplings now they can be this uh, duff with different fillings inside it can be um, potato cottages uh, fruits and other different things and uh, uh, then they are boiled and I really like them, tasty one. If you haven't tried, you should try them. Um, and uh, then you put for the all new year special surprises inside of them. And then when all family gathers together or we do that many times with friends, you eat those dumplings together and then you um, find a small surprise in it and uh, it can be small different things, I will tell about them in a minute, um, and each of them means uh, a different thing. You can make those dumplings yourself and put those small surprises in. I think it's a lot of fun, but also quite some work and a dirty kitchen afterwards. Uh, but if you're busy and have no time, uh, you can for sure nowadays buy those dumplings with surprises everywhere in the shops. Some of the surprises are very obvious. So if you find the coin inside, that means you will have no money problem this year. Uh, if you find a ring, you will get married. Um, if you find a button, you will buy some new clothes. There are some that are not that obvious, but I also like them. So if you find raisin inside, it's for the great temptation. Uh, finding walnut means uh, being healthy this year. Finding a thread uh, is for the road, so probably you will travel somewhere. Finding carrot inside means meeting new people. And uh, if you find uh, beans, it's 
addition to the family. It's not that you will have children for sure this year, it's just addition to the family. Somebody of your family members uh, may have a child. And there are sometimes dumplings with additional salt, that means some difficulties this year. Um, and uh, sugar means a sweet life, that means everything will be really good for you. I don't think people approach um, seriously those things, uh, but maybe somebody do, I don't know. Uh, it's just mostly a lot of fun to uh, open the dumpling and look, oh, is there something? Is there something? And for sure that's at the time of overeating that's not so good because uh, the surprises are not in all the dumplings so you should be lucky to get the ones where the surprises and that means that sometimes you eat too much or for sure more than you wanted to eat in the beginning. And I really think those traditions and holidays are important to keep and I'm happy that we keep them. Uh, though I heard that the dumpling thing is uh, not well spread uh, everywhere in Russia. Um, it's well-known and well-loved tradition here in the southwest where I live but just some years ago I heard that people from other parts of Russia they don't know about it and they don't do that for the old new year. But I also heard many times that now it's uh, spreading and people like it and start to implement in their households uh, all over Russia. And I want to encourage everybody, no matter from where you are, if there is an important and nice tradition in your country, an uh, interesting holiday, and I'm sure uh, you have something, keep it, no, where, no matter where you are. I mean, if you move abroad to live or to study, you can um, tell other people about these traditions, maybe they want to celebrate with you. I know that for sure moving to Germany, I will keep celebrating all New Year with dumplings and um, Maslinica with crepers. And even uh, though it will be not a big festival for a lot of people, it will be still a big holiday for my family. And when I studied abroad, um, I haven't been at anywhere during the Maslinica time or uh, Old New Year time, sadly. Uh, but when we were in Spain, it was already June, I think, and it was the um, a festival day when everybody uh, cooked the national food of their country and that was really great, I really enjoy um, those things. Uh, we decided to make the dumplings and then we were like, Okay, why not surprise and fortune telling? No matter that it's June, it's will be it will be fun. And I think everybody liked them and there were a lot of people around our table and uh, uh, everybody was curious to get the surprise. Um, and uh, we mostly, um, uh, the most important part, we had a lot of fun uh, making those dumplings. Not cleaning the kitchen afterwards, but making them was a lot of fun. And I also think that this is a great thing for children. So if your children um, don't celebrate it in the kindergarten or school, you can arrange something for them at home. Though when I started uh, in school and when I was in the kindergarten, we um, celebrated this holiday and uh, that was always a lot of fun for me.